on a happier note, um, hunt, how to hunt website, YouTube channel, how to hunt is one of the channels I follow. And um, it's, it's majoring on Bigfoot, Sasquatch and such. And how just the, the thing that interests the, 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 the fellow whose channel it is, the thing that interests him, he's, he's had en encounters with what he calls these beings. So, you know, for him, the debate is, is it's not even a debate, it's a fact, you know, he's a professional hunting guide and he's, you know, he's out and about in the wilds of uh, North America, I believe Canada. And, uh, you know, for him, yeah. And it's very, you know, it's like, it's, he's not looking for them. He was never looking for them, but he's had, ooh, he's had experiences where it's like, ooh, he's, he, you know, he's, he's seen them and uh, wishes he hadn't. You know, he's out, he's out and about and they out and about. And uh, these things are there as well. And he's like, Ugh. you know, don't go, don't go into the woods. You might get eaten by a bear. Oh, yeah, that'd be quite traumatic. But there's bigger, scarier things out there than grizzly bears. You know, you think, really? Uh, apparently so, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. And, um, but his, his angle, and it's very, yeah, and it's one that I, I can really get on board with his... Why is it that people don't want to know about this thing? Or why is it that people who come forward with, you know, experiences or sightings or encounters or what have you, how come the establishment, the mainstream, you know, most people ridicule these individuals? You know, why is that? Why is that response within society? Why, how come? How come people who've had these experiences are ridiculed? You know, so much so that most people don't come forward when they've, you know, when they've experienced these things. You did a, you know, people will take the piss. And blah, blah. Uh, you know, that's the that's the aspect that he finds very, yeah, all right, yeah. Um, <clears throat> the most recent video I watched. It's one of those classic. Well, we took this photograph, and at the time, we didn't we didn't see this in the, you know. Oh, yeah. Looking back at this photograph afterwards, I'm like, oh, look, look at him. And, you know, there's, a, <laughs> there's this, like, shit, you know, you, you, zoom in, you zoom in on the shape, and it's like, hey, that looks like a fucking big foot. Ooh, let's go, you know. It's like, oh, well, because he, he gives advice about, if you take a photograph, if you can go back and take a take the photograph from the same position you might go back and find it's kind of some sort of tree stump or what have you or you might go or you know if you go back and it's you know whatever it whatever shape was on your photo it isn't there anymore Ooh. Okay, no. it doesn't mean it you know it doesn't it's not conclusive proof that, oh yeah because he's because he's as i say he's of the opinion you know Photographs, schmotographs, you know, people people will argue till they blow in the face that it's all, it's all a put up job, it's all nonsense, you know. He said, so really, he said, unless, you start, unless you've got a photograph of you and Bigfoot, you know, arms around each other, bosom buddies and that, you know, oh, we, we took this photograph before social distancing, don't worry, you know, oh, me and Bigfoot, it's all right. Then it's a bit sort of, it's a bit academic, it's like, you know, the majority of people won't, they'll just poo poo it.